Welcome back once again. We're going with another video. That's right, we're following up. So basically the last video I explained how to use the Zenkai system, which is a prompt styling sort of chaos randomizer type thing based on a lot of my early work in Stable Diffusion 2.1. So like 350 styles in one thing. But today what I'm going to show you is the dedicated upscaler workflow. So this is going to be a lot shorter. Um, it's very simple. It literally takes an image in and it upscales it using Flux. As we showed at the end of one of the recent videos, uh, so this deserves its own video, uh, we have the upscale stage one, we have the upscale stage two. Now, I doubt most people are going to be using stage two, but you can try it. Um, Doubtless we'll be improving this, but it's kind of like a standard 768 tiling um, upscaler, but it's using the native sampler, which uh, Flux comes with. So it is just the Flux. Oh, there is actually a color correction module here, and there are links of where you can get your Docube LUTs here. They're industry standard, so they're very easy to come by, and you can make your own. So if you don't have this or whatever, you can disable it, delete it. It's not relevant to the workflow. It's just there because sometimes it's nice to process uh, uh, once you've done the upscale. And as you can see, it's just chugging its way through a lot of the images which I'd made with Flux earlier. Uh, just to explain how it works, we've got one thing that you can do aside from uh, activating stage two. You might decide that you want to have the original image height and width. If that's what you want, all you have to do is connect it here. So for some reason, uh, it's the other way around. If you see this one is width, this one is height. So we're actually going to go height to the bottom and width to the top. Not entirely sure why this is the other way around, but that, that's the way it is. <laughs> so now what will happen is it's going to use the height and width from the image. Now, because I like to keep everything uniform, and sometimes images can be strange heights and widths. Uh, what this is actually doing is it's making sure it's 1024 by 1024, in addition to making sure that it's four to five or whatever you pick. And then also making sure that the uh, multiply is actually of 64. So it's a safe resolution model. You know, it's a bit optimized for diffusion and various. So yeah, I like to use it like this, but you can use it uh, to get the uh, image so if you want to keep it as it was that's how you do that but just be aware that obviously if it's already an upscaled image if it's bigger than 1024 by 1024 it's going to take longer because obviously you're putting a you're going to be doubling it and making it bigger still so if you put 2k in here and double it it'll be 4k so this will run with the performance of stage two uh, everything is based on the idea that you are actually running 1024 by 1024 or some aspect ratio of that total. Okay. So the next thing is we've got the uh, color shift. So we did have a upscale remix mode. And so obviously you can take any image that you want and just plug it in here. And then at each stage, it's going to do a color match to the incorrect color profile. That can sometimes have a cool effect. I have a couple of them I like to get some interesting effects. I guess it's a bit like a cheap LUT. LUTs are better. All right, I'm just going to be honest. The LUTs are better. But color match, usually you would use it with the original. And that's just to make sure that the upscale doesn't put in any strange stuff. Okay. You can speed it up a little bit on my system if I... If I... um bypass the split signals you lose a little bit of quality but um it might run a bit quicker it, i find it's negligible though you're not talking about a huge difference stage two takes 222 seconds on my system and makes 4k stage one makes two two well it's a 2k but that's actually 1920 by 2304 at four to five and that took like the 40 seconds it's very fast for an upscaler that goes to 1080p, it's very fast. So I'm very happy with it. Um, in case you're using not the diffusers, but you're using the uh, not the new checkpoint method, all you've got to do is drag model to model, uh, clip to clip, 
from VAE to VAE, and then this will work. The reason I brought this version out is mostly, oh, and also, I didn't look at that. We have very detailed, very detailed. This is your clip L. This is your clip uh, T5XXL. This is like an upscaling prompt, so it's pretty vague. And finally, now we've got all of that out of the way, what we can talk about is, obviously, we've got the resizes set to fill crop matching, so we don't have to worry about that. The guidance is here. I leave that at 3.5. We're currently using a denoise of 0.2. I've done extensive research to see what the best settings are. You might be able to do even more research or just land on one that's best. So I can't say this is the best, 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 but it's the best for me. <laughs> this is what I'm using. This is my favorite setup. Um, the only thing I would say is, as we've explained now at length, we've got 0.2, so low denoise, and then we've got 0.5 and 0.5 for our shift. Now, to boost this, we could set it to a higher matching amount. If we wanted a lot of variance, then we would increase the gap between bass and shift. As you increase denoise, it will make more of a change from the original image, just like normal. But we can actually increase the prompt adherence, okay, which at the moment, the prompt adherence, the prompt is very detailed masterpiece, intricate UHD 8K. So that means we can make it more of what we asked for by boosting this and that can have a lot of effects but it's a question of whether you want a lossless upscale which obviously you'd say max shift zero all right and base shift zero that's like you know the, the sort of minimum right uh you can obviously leave the base at zero and then go up to one two three and then you've got a wide shift right a narrow shift would be like for example you know, I might say 0 0.49. So now we've got, you know, the 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 window of shift is 0 0.01, right? But if I was to say zero, the window is now 50. So it's like a range, right? So if I was to set this to one, that's a big range. If I set this to, to one, now there's no range. And what I'm finding is this is what I'm calling boosting, where you set both values to high because you get good coherence and consistency at extremely low denoise. We could be using 0.05, and then we can simply boost the shift to get more of an effect from what we prompted. So it does take a little bit of thinking about, but these settings work excellently for giving us nice high quality upscales of whatever we give it. Whatever we give it. Flux saves the day. So that's everything I've got for you. Obviously, you can copy in your favorite 1.5 workflow, 2.1, SDXL. You can put colors in here. You can put SD3. You can put anything you want in there. But you might just do that in a different tab and save yourself the hassle. And then when you've made the images, just drag the best ones in here. And then queue them up. That's all you got to do. There will most likely be an adaptation of this, which is... I can show you what the adaptation is really simply. We double click and we type load image. And then what we do is we pick uh, from directory, load image batch from directory, right? And then we, instead of using this image loader, we're going to use this image loader. I'm not going to take you through it because it's fairly self-explanatory, but there will be a guide in the future. Uh, we've used it before in the past with some of our animation packs. So basically, uh, you put the directory that you want. So say I put all my favorite images into a directory, put the URL, uh, put the directory path in right there. Yeah, load cap zero, start zero means it's just going to do the whole folder. Simple. There are ways of driving it with a seed and having it work off of the queue and stuff, but I, I that, you know, I, we, we can show you that another time. So that is everything I've got for you. Uh, this is probably the best upscaler I've put together. Um, credit goes to the Flux team. You know, all I've done is animate, uh, you know, sorry, put the nodes together uh, as we would have done, as we should be doing, I guess. Um, so there it is. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. So, memberships are here. I've added donator and member. The donator membership is just uh, you want to support the channel, help us grow. Member, you're going to get some exclusive video access. And uh, check out the join now button for more information.